Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, due to the importance of what's happening right now on the charts, I wanted to take another look at the daily chart. Uh, we haven't done that today, but yesterday in the last video I did, so I didn't I didn't really do it um, today here. <laughs> um, but we do that now because I just wanted to emphasize again that now with the five wave move to the upside, today's push basically gave us a healthy wave five. And that's what we've been watching for as a signal that the larger wave four correction is finished. We've already seen lots of signals that would or that pointed towards a bottom. Okay, so I mentioned to you, oh, what did we talk about? We talked about the trend line. That was a long trade setup. We talked about the pullback zone, which was also a long trade setup or at least a area to uh, an area to accumulate. Okay. Then we talked about the RSI, which had a bullish divergence and the MACD, which sort of hasn't yet given up momentum. So it's all it's all happening, right? It's all it, we had so many bullish signals in recent weeks. Um, you might also remember the weekly RSI we talked about, not the weekly RSI, the weekly Bollinger Bands, which were broken to the downside and uh, where we talked about a chance not a chance, probability for it to snap back in. All of that happened and those were a lot of bullish signals. But because this is an Elliott Wave channel, I highlighted to you that, you know, there is enough, there are enough reasons to accumulate, to go along or whatever, because we have all these signals and to look for entries, that's why the box is there. But I cannot confirm from an Elliott wave point of view that this wave four has bottomed until I see a five wave move up. So that's what we've been waiting for, for that signal. And we've seen those five waves now. Ideally, we still get a few more upward adjustments. The wave count is, while it is full, it would still look better with a little bit more upside. And well, as I said before, it is obviously then not the best time to buy at the top. There would likely be a wave two pullback, which I will use to accumulate or even to go into a long trade or even add some spot positions or go into a long trade. It depends what it does. Yeah. Um, for now, I'm expecting the wave one to finish soon. Possibly, well, I, I would prefer a pullback in wave two before we break out above 72K. Yeah, that would give a setup for a healthy third wave to come towards 85K, maybe higher. And when we have the initial one, two setup completed, I can give you a target for this circle wave five. At the moment, I would estimate it, it will reach above 90 K this circle wave five. So, but it, I, I can give you more clear targets once we have the wave two pullback in place. So that's what we're watching. And I have added a wave two support zone to our short term chart. So that means a pullback could happen now at any point. Um, at the moment, there is no such signal and ideally it would still push a little higher, but you can see we've reached that Fibonacci target zone now. And yeah, we want to talk about this one hour chart now. So this is the increase from the 5th of July. This is the wave four low, which is likely in place now due to that five wave pattern to the upside that we have seen. Today, the price saw a short dip into the orange support zone, probably too fast for anybody to take a long position. Um, but the FIB levels were there. Okay, the FIB levels were there and it was likely that B wave pullback that we've been watching for. Of course, it happened too fast. It was related, related to the Biden news. And yeah, now but we, we've seen further upside from there. Okay, it was, just a it was just a little bit of volatility. In the previous video, I also shared with you that trend line, which acted as support as well. So no break of trend line, no break of Fibonacci support, no reason to assume a deeper pullback would be unfolding. Okay, essentially, we have seen the price rally now higher in wave five towards that 68,550 region or higher. This is the first target for wave five of one. Ideally, we stretch a little bit higher, more towards 69K, 70,650. Um, there is no sign that a top is in place in wave one until we break below the trend line and then follow through with a break below the intraday low of 65,900. I assume that the larger wave four is bottomed on the 5th of July, as long as the price holds 
the yellow support zone. And especially the 78.6 retracement level down there at 56,422. So this level will need to be adjusted if the price pushes a little bit higher, then I will adjust this support region. Quick reminder, and I posted that as an article a few days ago on Discord for silver and gold members. I said it also a few days ago in the video here, the current situation reminds me a little bit of the October lows. Okay, when the price, or not the October lows, when the, when the price broke out in October, just before that we saw failure of the bears, we saw very shallow pullbacks, re reactions to support regions as we've seen here today. And this is something, you might remember that me, me telling you in some of the previous videos, the crypto market seems to change its face again. So we seem to enter another phase of bullishness and Bitcoin is pushing. And it might mean that it's not guaranteed. There is never a guarantee for a pullback anyway. There will be one, but it's not clear when exactly. Okay, we need to wait for a signal that a pullback is started. In all likelihood, it would start ideally from this region. Okay, um, but the pullback could be shallow. Yeah, the pullback could be shallow. Don't expect the price to come down to the 78.6 FIP level. Well, it could do. But we've seen many examples, especially between October and January, where the price just retraced a little bit and a lot of people were left disappointed. So I just want to, this is nothing you can predict. The crypto market is way too volatile for that, which is why it is typically a wise decision to hold a core position and to add when the prices are in support areas, as it was the case here. So if a pullback occurs from here, bear in mind that one of the Elliott Wave guidelines is that wave twos tend to finish in the region of a wave four of one lesser degree, that would be around 63K. So personally, I will use all prices or all dips below the price when I last sold at around 65K. I sold recently at around 65K here. Um, a little bit of the positions I bought in the box. I mentioned these buys and sells on Discord, they're just spot positions, right? Um, so I will treat any dip below it, below that level as buying opportunity for me personally. Um, and I just wanted to make sure everybody understands that the pullback could be shallow, right? It is not predictable, but I'm not going to be the person that promises you a dip to the 60,500 level. It is likely but we have to consider that the momentum is quite aggressive at the moment and the crypto market might be starting a larger rally. So in this situation, experience tells me that pullbacks can be shallow. That's what we have to be very much aware of in, in the next few weeks. So that means little higher in the short term than a pullback in wave two expected could be shallow. We have to see how it develops and any break below the green trend line could be an indication that a top has formed. That's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.